Mark, we hear that James Daniels has a lot of dog in him and how he plays, that he wants to just maul you straight up. Did the Bears mess him up the way we hear they messed up Mitch Trubisky? I don't think so. I think the Bears actually made a mistake in, in not re-signing James Daniels. I was I was surprised to see that you know he, that the the price tag on James Daniels for a 24 year old ascending interior offensive lineman for years and 26.5 million dollars. I I had to to wonder what Ryan Poles' thinking is. You know what Ryan Poles, the new GM of the Bears, by the way, he he said that he wanted a different type of of offensive lineman from what they had had in the previous regime, which was the big overfed, mauler types, and the, the quicker, lighter guys. But James Daniels is really good. Uh, he, he did, like, for, for whatever it's worth, Daniels did struggle towards the end of the season. The Bears' offensive line is a collective struggle with pass protection, which obviously with a rookie quarterback, which was what Justin Fields was, you can't have that. But I think that the, the Pittsburgh Steelers are getting a very good product in James Daniels. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And, and no, look, he, it, durability is everything in the NFL. He played all 17 games last year at right guard. He's played some left guard. He's played center. And he has played all but, I think, six or seven games in his, his short four-year career. So I think that's a solid signing for the Steelers. Mark Rohde from the Bears Radio Network on the sidelines for them was watching James Daniels up close and personal. They bonded over their love of cats. And he's on 93.7 The Fan. What is his best position, Mark? Is it guard or center, in your opinion, from what you've seen? I think it's guard. I think it's guard. You know, he, he, uh, there, there's always been talk swirling about the possibility of James Daniels going back to center, a position in which he, he did perform for a while. He played it at Iowa. But I think he showed, and, and it just happened this past year, where in, in those games, in the 17 games, he looked extremely comfortable playing at the guard position. I know that he would probably tell you that he's just as comfortable at any spot, wherever you want to put me. But when you see that comfort and that contribution at that position throughout 17 games, then I think that that's probably where you leave him. But the versatility is real. So if the Steelers have injuries along the line and they need to reconfigure things, he would be perfectly capable of it. But my answer would be guard. Mark, what is something, because we know he's a young player, that's been a theme. Steelers are trying to get a lot younger on both lines, it appears. What is something about his game that you think can still get a lot better as he gets into second contract territory now? Yeah, I think his pass protection could get better. I'm very comfortable with what he's been able to do with with run blocking. But I think that, you know, like I said, for, towards the end of the season last year, he he did not look as strong. And I don't know if that was a product, again, of, of an entire offensive line, which was struggling under then offensive line coach Juan Castillo. But I definitely think that he is a guy who can get a little bit better in pass protection. He's a, he's a very, you know, a, as seemingly a lot of offensive linemen are, he is a cerebral guy. He is an independent thinker. He's an interesting guy that if you guys ever get him on the radio or talk to him individually, he's like, a, he's a deep thinker. He thinks about the questions that are asked. So he has that going, but yeah, I think that pass protection probably would be something that he, he would need to work on a little bit, but it's not like it's bad. Mark, what is the ceiling for a James Daniels? If the Steelers uh, hit the jackpot here on this signing and they get maximum out of this guy, what do you think is the best-case scenario for James Daniels as a football player? I, I think he could be a pro bowler. I mean, we've talked about that with him in this past year, that you know, can't could somebody like James Daniels ascend – to being somebody who is voted to the Pro Bowl. I don't know that all pro would be in his future, but, you know, like I said, and this, and this is why I thought the Bears should have kept him because he, he seems to get a little bit better every year. He's an ascending talent, and I do think it would be realistic that he could be at, at, a, at his maxing out, at his ceiling, I do think he is somebody that could get uh, voted to the Pro Bowl for whatever that's worth. Maybe a little bit away from, from all pro, but the guy is hes just a solid offensive lineman who's going to be in the league a long time, barring injuries. 